Welcome to the SCP Foundation. I am 05-4, and today you are being briefed on SCP-023. Congratulations on your assignment. Let's begin. Item number SCP-023, Object Class Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. Uh, this has been stricken from the record, but it says SCP-023 is to be contained in a standard 5x5 meter containment unit. Uh, it's been updated to read, SCP-023 is to be contained in a walled-off intersection of two corridors that site redacted with at least three meters of space in each direction and false doors at three of the four ends in addition to the real door. Security cameras will be placed and maintained above all four doors. At all times, SCP-023's eye sockets are to be filled with spherical inserts made of hard rubber. Eye inserts must be replaced as they degrade. Degradation can be monitored by measuring the brightness of the burning effect as observed by security footage. Brightness greater than 12 candela requires that the inserts be replaced within 12 hours. Eye inserts are only to be replaced individually and only after the sun has completely set. Personnel are not to look directly into the eye sockets of SCP-023 at any time. Following Incident 023-TAC-27, all reflective surfaces, including displays, monitors, and eyewear of any sort are not permitted within 30 meters of SCP-023's cell. This includes monitors linked to security cameras within its enclosure. Security personnel posted at checkpoints outside both corridors will enforce and adhere to this measure. Experimentation involving SCP-023 has been suspended indefinitely. Description. SCP-023 is a large, sexless, shaggy canine, 1.5 meters at the shoulder, with black fur. This has been stricken, but it says it has bright orange-red eyes and prominent teeth. Uh, the reason it has been stricken is due to incident 023-TAC-26. Anytime an individual makes eye contact with SCP-023, either that person or a member of their immediate family will die exactly one year after eye contact is broken. Research into the method of selection is incomplete due to a moratorium on experiments, but the available data suggests that having a larger immediate family lessens the chance of the individual making eye contact themselves dying, and neither a pattern nor a preference in victim types have been found. This may indicate that SCP-023's victim is designated entirely at random, but is unknown whether this selection occurs at the beginning or at the end of the one-year time period. Attempts to terminate an individual who has made eye contact with SCP-023 and their entire immediate family before the one-year time period ended has data expunged. Autopsies of individuals killed by SCP-023's effects show that, while outwardly appearing unharmed, their remains have been filled in with highly compacted ash, including but not limited to all organ systems and the circulatory system. Muscle tissue, bones, and brain tissue universally show signs of exposure to temperatures above redacted degrees Celsius. If not contained in a setting that at least superficially resembles a crossroads, SCP-023 will phase through walls to get to the nearest suitable location, incinerating all the materials it passes through. SCP-023 was first brought to the Foundation's attention when it attacked a church in Redacted while it was in session, killing Redacted civilians directly and Redacted as a result of eye contact. Following retrieval of SCP-023, Class B amnestics were administered to all witnesses and surviving victims. The incident was covered up as a case of arson. Addendum 023-001, SCP-023 broke containment on redacted by passing through its cell wall, which is uh, Incident 023-TAC-1. SCP-023 was later discovered at the intersection of two corridors elsewhere on site redacted. Agent Redacted noticed SCP-023's similarity to a redacted. Special Containment Procedures for SCP-023 updated. Assistant Researcher Redacted issued a reprimand for negligence. Addendum 
TAC-002. SCP-023 has been responsible for the deaths of redacted personnel and redacted civilians since it was first brought into containment on 10-12 Redacted-94. Addendum 023-TAC-003, request for reclassification to Keter pending. Addendum 023-TAC-004, due to both anomalies focusing on specific geographic spaces, their destructive capabilities, and canine appearance, it's possible that SCP-1111-1 may be a variant of the same phenomenon observed in SCP-023 or vice versa. Investigation into the origin of both anomalies is ongoing. Due to the inability to capture SCP-1111-1 TAC-1 for study, investigations are currently focused on SCP-023. And that concludes your briefing on the article. Let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of the incidents that have occurred with SCP-023. This is going to be Incident SCP-023-26. Let's take a look. SCP involved, SCP-23, personnel involved, doctor redacted, and five D-class personnel. Date is redacted, location is also redacted, description. In an attempt to curtail the danger posed by SCP-023, doctor redacted has approved the removal of both 023's eyes and teeth. Immediately after both its eyes were removed, SCP-023 breached security by vanishing completely. SCP-023 was reobtained on a stretch of interstate, redacted, at 4.37 p.m. and brought back into containment where D-class personnel finished pulling out its teeth. While the total number of civilians exposed to SCP-023 during this period is unknown, death record monitoring has tied nine civilian deaths to this incident. Timestamps confirmed over the course of the next 48 hours that SCP-023 vanished only while the sun was visible in the sky from outside, sight redacted. Addendum 023-026-1. As of redacted, Dr. Redacted has been suspended pending disciplinary review for contributing to, if not being directly responsible for, Incident 023-TAC-26. Dr. Redacted is now in charge of SCP-023. The increased difficulties in containment that have been incurred as a result of Dr. Redacted should serve to remind all personnel of the Foundation's purpose. Secure, contain, and protect. Research, experimentation, convenience, and even the safety of Foundation personnel are secondary concerns. We are not working to protect ourselves. And I was a member of the 05 Council. Addendum 023 TAC 26 TAC 2, a total of redacted bodies with a time of death exactly one year after incident 023 TAC 26 have been identified as consistent with SCP 023 exposure. That concludes incident 26. Let's take a look at incident 27. SCP involved, SCP-023, personnel involved, doctor redacted and data expunged, date redacted, location also redacted, description, uh, this is going to be a timeline of events, uh, 10 seconds, a pair of glass eyeballs are inserted into the eye sockets of SCP-023 by two D-class personnel, 15 seconds. Glass eyes take on an orange-red glow, similar to what SCP-023's real eyes looked like before removal. At 3 minutes 13 seconds, molten glass begins to run out of SCP-023's eye sockets. At 5 minutes and 54 seconds, uh, data expunged appear on all lenses, windows, mirrors, monitors, and glass surfaces at site redacted. At 6 minutes 12 seconds, evacuation of site redacted is ordered. At 6 hours 54 minutes and 7 seconds, sun visible over horizon. D-class personnel sent in to check area around SCP-023's enclosure. Data expunged, gone. Only trace of SCP-023 is a burnt section of floor around a puddle of colored glass. Personal log of Dr. Redacted, date redacted. It's my fault. 
I have doomed my research team and possibly the rest of the facility. All that's left is to keep trying. We must contain SCP-023. Note, unredacted, one year after incident 023-27, redacted personnel were interred in an unmarked mass grave outside site redacted. And that concludes your briefing on SCP-023. Be extremely cautious when handling research into this SCP. Uh, if not for yourself, then for whoever may be related to you. We've lost a lot of good people to this thing. Make sure that we do not lose more and don't do anything stupid. We have confidence in your capabilities as a researcher and as a containment specialist. And we know you will go far here. Remember, we secure, contain, and protect. We die in the dark so that they may live in the light. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, uh, subscribe, and ring the bell if you'd like to see more. If you didn't enjoy this video, go ahead and leave a comment as to why. Uh, please try to keep your comments uh, constructive if you can. And well, thank you so much. Have a good rest of your whatever.